So before we start this video, I want to point out that every helmet I used was brand new. I didn't use any repaired helmets. I made sure they were all brand new before we did anything. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's do it. Starting off with the Makarov. I decided to go from pistols all the way up to rifles throughout the course of the video. And just like in the last video, the Makarov versus level 4 helmets, it does not do so well. The last video with the 6B47 helmet, it took 11 hits to go through him. I'd use a drum mag to kill him. I had to reload in between killing this dude. That's how ridiculous it is. I really think pistols need a buff as it takes 16 hits to go through the fast helmet. I, I personally don't think it should be any more than 4. Onto the TT, using armor piercing rounds. I tried to use... I looked at the ammo charts, and I picked out which bullet does the most penetration, and that's what I used in the video. This guy wiggled at me, so I decided to give him my helmet for not trying to kill me. <laughs> On to 9mm. Thank you. If you're wondering, like, if a different, like, an MP5 shooting 9mm is going to do more damage than a pistol with 9mm, it won't. It might have a more accuracy at range and stuff like that, but close up it's going to be doing the same damage. Onto the shrimp, using the highest armor piercing rounds that it has. Only took five hits, which wasn't that bad. I'd personally like to see that reduced to three or four, especially point blank. Now to my favorite part of the video, the shotguns, which 100% need to be changed. Um, I, I think one shot that close is enough. It's a little ridiculous. It would at least break your neck in real life. Five hits. Uh, five hits is nothing. Don't worry, guys. It gets it gets much, much worse. For those of you who saw the last video, slugs are excellent. Even better in this video. <laughs> I really hope no one has a problem with uh, changing this. Um, it, it should one-tap this close. There needs to be a damage drop-off range. Like, if I was 100 meters away, sure thing. You know, that's fine. But, um... You know, when I'm this close with the 12 gauge slug round, and we're already five shots in, that's 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 four too many. Just 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 fast forward the video if you don't want to watch this. It made me sad to w know that this is in Tarkov. I I don't think the devs knew. Let's just assume that no one has ever used slug rounds, and they're gonna be changed next week. I promise. Because if a dev saw this, it would 100% be changed because it's. It's just unlike anything else in the game. Um, I'll just tell you how many hits it took. It took 33 hits to kill this man with a fast helmet. Now, you could say shoot him in the legs, but, um, you know, let's let's fix that. That'd be great. Friendly fire. Onto the assault rifles, which weren't disappointing at all, actually. I was quite surprised at how easy they were to uh, take people out compared to the pistols. That took two shots. So I did it again because I knew that... That, that seemed a little too easy. And sure enough, it took four shots. So there seems to be some kind of penetration chance. So just get about a... This is about an average of how many bullets it would take. Onto the SKS, point blank, using BP ammo. It one-taps him. Um, so I was like, okay, let's try it at range. Let's see what the drop-off is here. And I know it's kind of hard to see, but I did hit him every time. I was getting confirmation that I was hitting him in the head three times. And that guy, that guy tried to do something. PP rounds are also good against flesh. Don't worry. But yeah, as I killed him, you couldn't see, but I killed that dude. And yeah, three hits at range, I'd say. Probably two to three, actually. Testing out the AKM, which does the same damage as the SKS. No surprise here. One taps up close. And also at range, it has the same drop off as the SKS. Using the M4 with M995 ammo, for those of you who don't know, that is the highest penetrating M4 ammo. It uh, comes in limited quantities at Peacekeeper every trade or restart, if you're wondering why you've never seen it before. The only disappointing part with, in the assault rifles was the VAL. Considering it's an armor-piercing round that it shoots, and it took the most bullets out of any assault rifle with five hits, to take someone down, I was pretty disappointed. It does have a, it has the highest fire rate in the game, so it's maybe it's there for balance, I guess. But it seems a little ridiculous in my opinion. Onto the guns that will for sure one tap every time: the RSAS, the SV98, and the DVL. Using the SV98 here, I had some trouble hitting him, but um, I want to tell you that even though I hit him in the chest here, that doesn't matter 
if I'm going to hit him in the head, which I ended up doing, because if the bullet goes through the helmet and hits your skin, the player dies instantly. If you've noticed someone without armor, you can one-tap them in the head with a Makarov, unlike 16 hits. It, if the bullet hits the head, you die. And sure enough there, ranged at 200 meters, I finally took him out. We did confirm it was a headshot also. I didn't spend $3.5 million on helmets to, to lie in the end. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys seem to really like the last helmet test video I did on the 6B47 helmet. It's also a level 4 helmet, just like the fast helmet, but um, it has less uh, armor points. And it proved that the fast helmet is a little bit better than the, the 6B. That guy had a kiver on. That was a not not a scripted shot, by the way. That was a legit up. shot. Shut the fuck that up. That guy just got wrecked. But yeah, hopefully you guys liked the video. This time I tried to expand on showing you guys the different drop-offs at range. That, that'll apply to every bullet, by the way. Every bullet does less damage at range, and close up they do more damage. My only complaint during these tests were the shotguns. Especially the slugs. I mean, 33 hits, that's 100% broken. But it is an early access game. And uh, I'm not hating on the game. I love the game. I play this game pretty much every day. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe I'll do a video on the Kiver. Although that seems a little boring. I don't, I don't really want to just keep doing helmet videos, guys. But it's pretty fun. I don't know. You kind of learned a lot. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you did not like it. And subscribe if you want to see more content. Kind of new to YouTube. And uh, yeah, it's kind of fun.